This new Atma motor generates a lot of torque at the shaft. If I squeeze to try to stop it, uh, it just starts to, to burn my hand. It gets really, really hot in the shaft. So we're gonna connect a drill bit on here and see if we can uh, drill through some plastic or wood with this setup. So I've connected a quarter inch uh, drill bit uh, to the output shaft in the Atma motor here. So we'll power this up and uh, see what this can do. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the high voltage DC generator. So I really wanted to do a drone test and run up a aerial antenna to capture atmospheric electricity, but I crashed my drone. So I need to get my drone fixed uh, before I can do that. But another thing I've been wanting to test is some of this um, conductive thread. Now this is not very conductive. I already tested this with just low voltage DC. And in just a couple feet, uh, it becomes almost unusable because it's not a very good conductor. So what I've done for this test is run this thread up here way up there, hundreds of feet, to that bamboo pole, at the top of that pole. And then the thread goes down to my high voltage generator. So it's going to be providing high voltage DC, 20 to 30,000 volts. It's going to travel right down this uh, conductive thread, even though it's not a very good conductor, and it should power up the motor, and we should be able to uh, generate electricity down here on this end. So let's test it out. Look at that, spinning right up with the high voltage DC coming down this thread. And uh, it's definitely working. It's already starting to, uh, to light the lights. This was a fun and challenging build. There were a lot of improvements to the Atma motor that went into this design. I'll put a link in the video description to lasersaber.org. There you can find all the 3D printer files, the laser cutter files, as well as a list to all the parts that I used to build this motor. I'll also include a link to the guy that I use for all my laser cutting needs. He has very reasonable rates and does excellent work. I designed this large Atma motor V2 for Ion Power Group. They've done years of research and experimentation with the original Atma motor that I provided them a few years back. Check out my previous videos on atmospheric electricity to see their project. I had to do a lot of sanding and shaping on the rotor to remove factory imperfections in the acrylic. I was really surprised when I could just power the Atma motor with high voltage electricity and use the rotation of the rotor to sand out the imperfections. It was the first indicator that the torque really does scale up with size on these motors. One of the new features on this design is a removable rotor. So you can remove these uh, nylon screws here and lift this plate off that has the bearing on it and slide the whole rotor out. It'll allow you to service this or to test uh, different materials or different ideas without having to uh, remove, you know, before it was impossible. This is pretty locked in, you know, with all these blades. But now you can access uh, right here. So that's one of the, the design features on this new design. Um, the wiring is all around the outer ring here and has uh, electrical tape and then all these clips that hold that tape down. Uh, even with that, 
because of the high voltage uh, DC, I wouldn't want to run this um, right on a conductive surface. So I would put this on like glass or a nylon cutting board or some other surface. Uh, this one's designed to run uh, vertically like this. So Ion Power Group wants to run this in the vertical configuration uh, off their atmospheric collectors. So that's kind of the, the design uh, for this one. So if you haven't seen my previous videos on atmospheric electricity and Atma motors, I would really encourage you to go back through my videos on my channel and check those videos out. If you enjoyed this video, I think you would really find my previous videos on this subject fascinating. Well, that's it for this video. Let's all keep experimenting. I'll see you next time.